You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me, right? Salute to my brother, Showtime SP, and everybody out there who supports this content, whether religiously or in passing. Um, I'm up early, heading to the airport. I got to go to Florida today. I'll be out there for about a week, taking care of some things with my job, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, I have a job. Go to work. But uh, we'll still, we still got content that we haven't dropped. So that'll be dropping this week. You know what I'm saying? The vault is ready. Salute to my boy, Showtop SP, came in and got that working, you know, so, um, there's a lot of reaction, there's a lot of people talking about the Chris Unbiased, Untold Truth with Street Star Norbs, and, um, Chris Unbiased jumped in my comments yesterday on Twitter, and he told me this, he's like, yo, speak on it, you know what I'm saying, because, uh, I was watching it, I ain't gonna lie, I seen it, like, they had a really, really extensive conversation where a lot of things were spoken about that had either happened or didn't happen or whatever the case may be and i will say this for one uh being somebody who out of everybody who's watching this i probably spent more time around or spoke to on the phone or was dealing with as far as like battle rap and when i first had a come up and things like that norbs did a lot for a lot of people now we're not going to remove the fact that he did some slime ball shit in his time, but we all have in some way, way, shape, form or another. But what I will say is this, like the things that he did as far as for battle rap could never be replaced. The people that he found, like Norbs found talent. Like, I don't know if y'all niggas understand that shit. Like the battles that we watch today, the events that we see, the people that are on, like they would not be around if it wasn't for Norbs. I don't care what no, there ain't nobody who could tell me any different because, nigga, I was there. Like, I know for a fact Norbs had proven ground events. Norbs was the one that developed and found a lot of this talent from, I could name about 20 people right now that I know Norbs directly had a hand in. And there's more. Now, I know he said he found, found New Jersey twerk. I don't go with that one because Jazz the Rapper was the first one who had his, who seen him. She was hosting an event. She passed this footage on to him and he was the one that had to move on that. So it was what it was. As far as Geechee Gotti, you know, I remember Norbs in LA. I heard him on, at a battle event on a seat, put me on speaker and I heard Geechee Gotti. So I can attest to the fact that Norbs was definitely out there. Now I know that there's other people that was involved with the situation, but Norbs was always a person that was definitely developing talent, honing talent. Now, first and foremost, you know, salute to Chris Unbiased for putting that whole piece together. It was two hours. I literally had to find the two hours in my day to watch. I've seen it has since been taken down. Uh, I think Ratmatic blocked it. You got to understand, Chris, I know you, I know, I know you ain't been around for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. You, you've been gone for a minute in, in the justice system. And, you know, I hope all is well and your shit gets resolved. But it's a new era out here, my nigga. You use these niggas' footage, these certain people that you use that, I seen you in your blog, you be like taking footage and using it. Bro, they will flag your shit faster than a motherfucker. You will get your shit taken down. I don't really use people's footage. And if I do, I use eight seconds and under. Like if it's a short clip, they won't take it. But when you start getting into like somebody really explaining something from someone else's platform, they will flag your shit fast as a motherfucker. I really, nowadays I really don't use no footage. That's, the, that's my word of advice to you, uh, Chris. They'll, they'll, they'll flag you, it, it is what it is. And they'll flag you with no regards. I think you used a clip of like chess interview giving credit to Norbs or whatever the case may be. You would have thought that would have been something that would have been appreciated that someone had captured, but nah, these niggas, they'll snatch your shit. So um, all you have to do, my word, of, all you have to do is remove that part and YouTube gives you an option to remove this shit. You remove that part of the interview because that shit is not going to take away or give nothing to what you had going on. We already know Norbs found chess. You don't have to, you don't either. We don't need the clip. Remove that shit and, you'll be, and you should be good to go. All right, back to the story. So while Norbs did a lot of, you know what I'm saying, questionable shit with some people with the whole taking payments for PGs um, and niggas battles was not coming out. Like, he was just being an opportunist. I remember at times niggas would call me an opportunist. Like, mad niggas, you, you, or you gonna get called an opportunist or opportunistic. But I vividly remember when I worked for the nigga, I never got paid. Like, that's the one thing, I never got paid. I never made a dollar in battle rap until I did it on my own. Nobody, nowhere you ever seen me, nobody ever paid me. But it was kind of like paying dues, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, 
You gotta do this shit. You know niggas is making money around you, but you're not making money. And, I, and to this day, I don't feel like nobody owes me anything because I've been able to, you know, do pretty good for myself now. And now that I have someone that works with me, Showtime SP, I always, people always ask, does he get paid? Of course he gets paid. I never got paid. So why would I put another man with children through that shit? You know what I'm saying? I remember, and I don't really, I ain't gonna call out nobody names and no shit like that. I remember when I first started making money, I had a nigga tell me that, yo, you either gonna be over here doing this URL shit or you ain't gonna be around at all. Like we ain't we ain't fucking with you going to the King of the Dodd and to the RBE. Niggas try to treat me like a battle rapper. Like, yo, they ain't even want you at niggas events. So you know me, I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna do what the fuck I want. I went to RBE, I went to King of the Dodd, I went wherever I wanted because I was a grown man. It's like you can't tell you can't tell somebody they can't eat when you ain't feeding them. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit just wasn't for me. So I and with the whole events thing, like I would go to the URL event. I'm busting my ass, I'm doing promo, I'm doing all these blogs and shit, I get there, I ain't on the list, I gotta wait outside, I gotta buy my own ticket and all this other shit, and it was just corny, it was like, I'm not doing this shit, so I've been stopped going, so niggas will come up with their own conspiracy theories, like, oh, he, he stopped going, he can't go here, he can't go there, I'm like, bro, why would I go to the grocery store, help a nigga shop, help somebody bring all the groceries in the house, and then when the barbecue come, I can't come to the get a plate. For me, it made no sense. Like, are you gonna do that? Like, why would you do that? So when he said, when Norb said the shit about the list, that shit automatically brought me flashback. I was like, God damn, I remember that shit. You helping promote, you outside, you doing interviews and shit, you busting your ass, and niggas is telling you you can't come in the event. Like, why can't I come in the event? I thought this was, I thought this was family. I thought it was, you find out real quick that it's not family. Everybody, they're gonna get what they can get out of you. And after that, that's the end of it. And when niggas don't want you around no more, they'll try to get rid of you. Now, I don't have any issues currently with anybody. Like, it is what it is. Whatever's in the past is in the past. Like, I don't bring up niggas. Even in this joint, I'm not speaking on niggas' names. I'm not putting dirt on nobody. Like, it is what it is. Uh, so, I understand and I've seen that from a first-hand perspective that niggas will literally have you travel from another state get to an event and be like, yo, you're not on the list. I'm like, nigga, I done drove how long to get here or I done flew here and you telling me I got I got to pay to get in? That's why I stopped going. I'm like, and then now, now it gets to a point where I'm starting to get a little name, fans is noticing me and I'm standing outside looking crazy and shit. And eventually, if I wanted to go in, I'd just pay to go in the event and just deal with it like that because I'm like, I'm not finna be out here standing. And then when the shit's got sold out, you had to buy your ticket in advance, you know what I'm saying? It used to be like, oh, this is all Harry's money. I heard him talk about Harry. This is all Harry's money. You can't, you can't. We're not letting nobody in. It's all Harry's money. And I used to just think it was whack. And I used to be like, yo, if I'm working for niggas, they can't put aside a little budget. You know what I'm saying? Like YouTube is clicking. I'm doing mad views on the videos that I'm doing for y'all. Y'all can't put aside a little budget to make sure that niggas is getting their events. Nah, all right, that's corny. Fuck it, I'm out. Now with Norbs, I will say this, every single event that Norbs threw or had a hand in, I got in, like no questions asked. If he had something to do with it or it was his event, I definitely got in. But for to me, it kind of seemed like after a while, it was like two URLs. I know y'all like two URLs. Yes, it seemed like there was Norbs URL and then there was the other URL. Like the Norbs URL was all the shit that was like the born legacies, the proven grounds, like all of those events, I never had an issue going in. The real URL, when they had the real events, like not real, when they had the bigger joints like the Summer Madnesses and uh, Double Impacts and all that other shit, nah, it's a wrap. And it was funny, like at the time, the people around me, they were so used to getting treated like shit that it was normal to them. So when I saw for more, like, yo, I need more than this, like, yo, I'm not getting paid. And I got it, and I'm getting played. Yo, this ain't me. Niggas was looking at it like I was bugging. Like, yo, you're bugging. Like, this is the family. I'm like, nigga, you, you, they don't even give you the scraps off the plate. You get nothing. Like, you're not even getting the scraps. It, and they was like, oh, yo, you know, you just gotta hold it down and wait your opportunity. I'm talking about this is over a year later. So for me, I was like, nah, this, I'm good on this shit. But back to Norbs, and this, the rest will be about him. And I'm just speaking from my personal experience in correspondence to what he's saying. So did he develop talent? Of course he developed talent. Of course he found talent. Smack can't tell you one person he brought to URL. Beasley can't tell you one person he brought to URL. 
Chico can't tell you one person he brought to URL. None of them niggas could tell you who they brought. They didn't bring anybody. They brought themselves there and they got bread. And then once they figured out that they could get somebody to do Norb's job, he got kicked out the whip. That's basically what it was. And I seen someone say it, it kind of was like snakes trying to outsnake each other. Like each one was trying to cut the other person's throat. And I don't really want to go that far with it, but I will say this, that Norbs, while the while he doesn't have a smoking gun to me, because I was saying this shit last night, if, if a nigga got three partners and they say, yo, this league costs $20,000 to start, and each one put up $5,000 and that shit gets started, then when the shit ends, a nigga could definitely be like, yo, y'all owe me bread. I don't give a fuck if it's worth 20 million. Y'all got my 5,000 to start. He has a lot of circumstantial things like, yo, if it wasn't for this, there would be no this. And if it wasn't for that, there would be no, he got a lot of circumstantial shit. I'm not going to lie. And we'll see how it plays out. But I know for a fact that he said when he, um, he presented the case, he tried to get something out of it. They told, they, they just basically blew him off once. They basically blew him off again. And he kind of was like, you know, damn, y'all niggas ain't going, y'all ain't going to break nothing with me. Um, as far as the Floyd Mayweather situation, I thought that was fucked up. Like, Norbs made that whole play happen. I remember when he was talking about making that shit happen. He got the boxing gym for Floyd Mayweather and, and, you know, got with Mayweather's team to make that shit happen. And then when it goes down, he just didn't get no credit for it. It was kind of like, you know, thanks for making it happen, but, nigga, you're not getting acknowledged in this. And at the end of the day, like, this whole game... This shit is all fucked up. Like, niggas will make you seem like this shit is all love. It's not love. Niggas don't give a fuck about you. And and more so, they, it's all about what they could get from you. So when I kind of, like, went on my own and did my own thing, I don't owe nobody. I don't owe a nigga shit. Like, I don't owe a nigga a dime. And I really don't give a fuck about what anybody got to say because it's like, yo, niggas wasn't there when I'm traveling the state to state, not getting paid, spending my own money, getting my own hotels, paying to get in events and shit like that. Niggas wasn't there for none of that. Not at all. Niggas wasn't there when I had a kid on the way and niggas was telling niggas, yo, you can't make no money. You got to either do this or it's nothing at all. So at the end of the day, it's like you got people that, you know, they don't want to, they, there's some, certain people that feel like, oh, I, you know, it is what it is. Fuck him. Cool. I'm good with that. I'm still making paper and I don't owe a nigga nothing. So Norbs did do some slime bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Even when it came to me, Norbs did some slime bullshit. He'll jump online and be like, oh, these bloggers be sucking dick, and bloggers is this, and bloggers is all faggots, and I knew at the time, like, his rhetoric was directed towards me, and I don't have, a, I didn't have an issue with him at the time, but I just thought it was whack, because I was like, yo, you was the first person that ever contacted me, I was not a, that's another thing, I will give him credit for that, he was the first person to ever contact me about being a blogger, I didn't even know what a blogger was, I ain't have a YouTube channel, I ain't know nothing about this shit, I was just a nigga talking shit on Facebook group. Chris and Bias' Facebook group right away. So shout out to him. Like I got my start in his Facebook group. I'm not even on Facebook no more. But I was I got my start in his Facebook group just talking shit about battles. I think I did a video one day and the video did numbers. And after that, the nigga Norms contacted me and was like, yo, you should be a blogger. I'm like, nigga, I don't even know what that this is like almost like four or five years ago. I didn't even know what a blogger was. So to be in the position that I am that my recaps do some of the highest views in the world and that my, my channel is doing it, that it, it, it's a blessing in itself with everything that I've been through, ups, downs, or whatever the case may be. Um, so, but I think Norbs kind of felt the way when I started to shine a little bit. And I mean, he may never admit this, but I was on the war report with him and I think he kind of felt the way once I started like, my shit started going up. I think he kind of felt the way and was getting a little jealous and that's when niggas tried to come to me and tell me it was them like Norbs and the whole little team P and all them niggas tried to come to me and tell me that I couldn't do shit on my own channel no more but mind you remember when I said at the beginning that I had never got paid a single dollar until I did it on my own I started getting a little YouTube check like after a couple after a year or so I started getting a check and I'm like damn I'm supposed to turn down YouTube's money for niggas that's not paying me oh no y'all niggas is bugging like y'all bugging like I knew niggas was bugging bugging at the time like you gonna how can you tell somebody that you not helping eat that they can't eat and we've spoke since then like me and P we had a like a two hour conversation everything is dead like I really don't got no issues with none of these niggas like at all I'm doing phenomenal for myself right now so uh, I can speak about it 
because at the time it was it was like what i can't eat with you but you mad that i'm eating on my own and i was given an ultimatum i was literally given an ultimatum and at the time i was like you know what fucking i'm out so back to the, the um the the main topic at hand uh while norbs was getting fucked over he was fucking niggas over at the same time that whole notion of doing pgs for niggas that you know you had no interest in that's kind of wild because people was really paying bread having you come out and do events and you knew that you had no interest in them you know what i'm saying like that 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 it's kind of grimy at the same time so it's kind of it was like the rich getting richer you know what i'm saying the robbers was robbing the robbers that's what it was you know what i'm saying at the end of the day the shit with uh twerking his baby mom of course that shit was fucked up because it was somebody that he found like you you not found found but you had a hand in finding and the fact that y'all went on dates and all that other shit and then you tried to like backdoor it i don't care if it's two to tango or whatever the case may be showtime sp is my brother if his girl ever even made a pass at me like in any way shape or form i mean that would never happen but if she made a pass at me it's like nah that's a dub you know what i'm saying and then i got to tell that nigga like yo bro whoop 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 and this is what it is and then he'll handle that how he handles that but what I'm basically saying is, you know, Chris Unbias himself hit me up, said speak my piece on it. So I'm speaking my piece on it. At the end of the day, I genuinely do not have any issues with anybody. I'm on my way to the airport. Like I said in the beginning of this joint, I'm being in Florida all week. It's cold as hell at home and I just need some hot weather and my job is sending me here. So why not take advantage of uh, the things that are being presented to me? Uh, I've since flourished. I've since did my thing. I've had ups, I've had downs, I've had niggas, you know, watch me i've had everything so it's a blessing in itself but when i watch norb speak for two hours i can't i'm, I'm believing him I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i am believing him because being there and seeing a lot of this shit going on as it was going on and knowing that there's no way it's almost no way he could sit there for two hours and just create a whole story unless he's really got like some serious mental problems and from seeing and knowing what was going on at the time, you know what I'm saying? They basically, Norbs brought in his replacement. That's what he basically did. He brought in his replacement. And, there, you know, it, it was what it was. Once, literally, like I see that um, phone calls was being recorded and all this other grimy shit and being put out in the blog. It's like, what? Like, what the fuck is this about? This is crazy. So, while I don't think that I don't think that Norbs will really get back in the battle rap shit 100% full time anymore, but I ultimately think he's going to get something out of it. I, I do think he's going to get something out of it. I don't think no 40 million. I think that 40 million shit is crazy, but I do think he's going to definitely get something. It'll probably be an uh, undisclosed amount. Like that's how a lot of them cases end. He'll probably get something undisclosed and he'll move on into his other ventures and shit. But as far as talent-wise, Norbs found some of the best talent that you could possibly think of. I remember it was a bunch of niggas that Norbs, that Norbs gave a co-sign on or passed on or, or put on that have gone on to do amazing things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do vividly remember that. I remember Av being one. And this is just around the time that I've seen. I know the, the, the all the Proving Ground classes, uh, all the, the, the Mike P's, the Jerry West's, uh, the fucking Jack Boy, all that he gave me, all of them niggas he brought into, he brought into this shit, every single one. And you know, like I said, I think he'll go on to do great things as far as like in his personal life and with his family and shit like that. But there is nobody that's without guilt in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't, it ain't out of all parties involved. Everybody did some slime bullshit at some time. You know what I'm saying? Like when he says that. His flight wasn't booked to go to London and shit like that. Like, a nigga is a... Like, he's he was there from the beginning. Like, a nigga don't come into a business from the inception to be a fucking a and a, a, a employee 10 years later. Like, and you're the one that's bringing in all the talent. You know the difference between a king of the dot, a rare breed, uh, any of these big leagues and URL is that they had the... They got the... They had the norbs that brought in all the fucking talent. That's the only that's the only differentiating issue between all of them. 
If there, if there other leagues had a person that was ushering in the biggest and best talent in the world, what? Like going to all the ghettos and all the hoods and all these fucking places, searching out and seeking out talent. What? Man, these niggas would be on like that. But there's just uh, when it comes to evaluating talent, there's very few that could do it like him. But did he do some grimy shit? Of course he did some grimy shit. He did, you know. Like I've mentioned in the um in the beginning of this joint. But uh, this is just my thoughts on it. I didn't want to have like a joint with me and Showtime SP in regards to this because Showtime SP don't know Norbs. He's never met him. He don't have no personal experience with him. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't. Norbs didn't find him per se. You know what I'm saying? But he found a lot of talent. He found me. You would not be yo. You would not be watching me right now if it wasn't for Norbs. 30 million views later, 60 something thousand subscribers later, you wouldn't be watching this right now if it wasn't for him, you know? And did he do grimy shit? Well, of course he did grimy shit with me too. But I forgive him. I forgive you. I forgive you for all the shit that I lived through. It wasn't all your fault, homie. You got caught to the same game I fought. My Uncle Ray lost. My brothers and so many others I saw. Like, even if you look at it now, right? You got to have a certain something in you to jump in front of a camera, talk for 20, 25 minutes in a row, and you got your thoughts together and things like that. He saw that in me when I didn't even see that in me. Nowadays, me and somebody else could talk about the same subject and people will watch my shit. But it's me, though. It's just it's just me. Like, it's nothing that the subject is still the same. The subject doesn't change. But he saw something in an individual to let me know that yo you could do this and this shit has changed my life i'm not gonna lie like i take care of my family i take care of my friends and all of that shit off of this like my clothes sell crazy i do dope numbers and i i got nothing to be you know to be hating on him about but when i tell you that at the end of the day yes there was a lot of people involved that did a lot of grimy shit you know it, was, it definitely was But it's all in the, the Them wanting It's a power struggle It literally Like when I say the two URL shit It was literally a power struggle Between one side and the other side I know there were phone calls made Yo don't battle on that card Battle on this card Nah 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 We not fucking with North I know it was This ain't now This ain't no I'm watching a blog And I gotta fucking get this This information I know it was I know it was events that niggas went to pulled up thinking that they was getting in because they've been sitting there promoting this shit and helping push the card and, and get to the venue and niggas is like, nah. And then you know what was the worst part? Like, what he said, that shit was so real. When he said that shit about getting to the event and you see niggas pulling up with their homeboys or niggas pulling up with, they, with the bitch that they gonna fuck that night or niggas pulling up with their man from around the black that ain't done nothing. Niggas is coming outside with four or five wristbands, handing them up, just wrapping them up, wrapping these niggas up, wristband, 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 all they crew getting in. And you like, yo, I'm putting in work with these niggas. I'm blogging like a motherfucker for these niggas. And niggas is like, yo, we got nothing for you, man. The list is already done. La 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 la. la. You know what? Fuck y'all list. Now I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna make money, and I ain't coming to none of this shit. That's the reason why I don't. I'm like, I ain't coming to none of this shit no more. Fuck that. Put the event on, I'm gonna recap it, and that's gonna be the end of it. We ain't gotta be friends. And that's just the way it goes. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I got nothing for you. I got nothing for you. And that's from now to the end. I'm gonna do my thing on my channel, and I know nobody can't call me and tell me, yo, take that down, or yo, why'd you say that? Nobody's gonna call me with that. It'll never happen. You gotta be, like, it, it just takes sometimes, you gotta become your own boss. I think Norbs, when he saw the writing on the wall, he should have found a way to separate himself and become his own boss, but uh, they just wanted to find something that was the defining nail in the coffin, and that was the uh, whole twerk baby mama shit. I'm sure it was probably I don't know what it was. Like honestly, I don't even I really don't know. But at the end of the day, uh, the video has been taken down. Hopefully that shit comes back up because I think it's an important piece of battle rap, and uh, it'll be what it is. Uh, about a couple minutes out from the airport I'm glad that y'all took this ride with me And uh, you know It is what it is Other than that Salute to the subscribers That notification gang I appreciate y'all rocking out with this content 
I appreciate every single person that subscribes to this, that watches this, that is a part of uh, what we got going on because I know you could be watching anything, anywhere, but you're here with me and I don't take that for granted. Salute.